Hey, let's, this is Joel. Boy, this is great, great work. Boy, that looks good. See, starting out yesterday, and you see how powerful that looks there, listen. So much more compact than what we used to see. And you're really cracking the whip there. Those hips are stopping beautifully. And those hands and arms look fantastic through impact right on up to a good balance finish. On plane nicely through the top of your left shoulder and even right there see the club's parallel to the plane line. So a lot of good things, just a little bit above it there on the downswing. But some fantastic things going on there, Alyssa. You see those hips not turning at all. So what we talked about was that now you know you can go ahead and stand a little taller like we saw in the K-Vest um, and then feel free to let your hips turn a little bit on that back swing. Yep, beautiful. And from face on now as I mentioned a little bit in the range office hours last few weeks you kind of not really turn that shoulder back as much as what we'd see for the tour players. As a result, the left arm is pretty horizontal. So there on the left, your hands got a little higher on the back swing. Still look fantastic from face on. And then because your hands got a little higher, that's a little more what you would look like at the top. with your hands above your shoulder more instead of your hands kind of being so low on your shoulder on the old gold there. So that would indeed make it a little bit easier to hit a little bit farther. And again with the same good K-Vest sequence that we saw you having I would sure tend to think that that would be very powerful for you there Alyssa. There again, taking a little bit of shoulder turn so his hands get higher than what we saw starting out yesterday. And again, like we know, I'd, we'll talk about it a little bit next time how you can get it to have that club not go back quite so far next time probably. But there's a little more hip turn and the same beautiful action with your hands and arms. Really cracking the whip beautifully there, Alyssa. Very powerful. And I'll send you that KVEST report as well. So you can see the good things that are going on there with your sequence and the summary report. Thanks so much. Talk to you. This is Joel Suggs. I sure enjoyed meeting you down at the Cincinnati Golf Show this weekend and showing you your swing on the 2D equipment that I have. And so I want to take about two or three minutes to just show you around meddling. This is the studio I use in the winter for all my students. You see there's the down the line camera angle for our 2D equipment and then we have the face on camera angle also and then what we also have here is the 3D equipment to where I can show you your swing from six different camera angles with this 3D equipment and we can get your swing from down to the 120th of a, 1 120th of a second in terms of exactly what your hips, shoulders and hands are doing in the swing. And then also, we, I have the most realistic hitting curve I've ever seen from PutterZ.com. So when you hit your full shot, it feels as realistic as possible. And then I have three different green speeds for you to practice your putting. 9.5 on the step meter, 10.5 on the step meter, and 12.5 on the step meter. That's benefited my students tremendously. And then also I have a lot of learning aids like this smart stick. You can see the rest of those learning aids over here in my bag that we can work on to help you learn a certain field in the golf swing that you and I both want. And then also I help my students a lot with their equipment through the winter. This is a frequency analyzer where we twang your club and it gives us a reading here. And then also we plot your whole set, each club on this, these lines to see if the set is really matched or not. Quite often they aren't and it helps my students tremendously when they find out what clubs are the offending clubs. Then if we get tired of being indoors and we want to go outdoors and get some, we can do that.
It's my daughter. Ellie, good to see you. I haven't seen her in weeks. <laughs> no wonder you've been gone, Ellie. You've been out here playing in the snow all this time. But this is our natural turf area. This is closed until April, as you can see. Uh, but it's a fantastic area where we can step outside and hit some balls and get some real ball flight. Or, if we get pretty satisfied and things are looking better on the video here, we're kind of cooped up inside and want to go outside, we can step on out and hit balls and see real ball flight for about 5 or 10 or 15 minutes, however long you and I can stand the cold, out into the air and we see them land at these different flags. I have a yardage book for this driving range. It's the first one I've ever seen in my life where we know exactly what it is for the front, back, and middle of each green. And again, the covered area here is heated. So we stay out there for about 5, 10, 15 minutes, like I said, and it enables us to see some ball flight. And then we get satisfied that things are looking the way we want and we come back inside, take off our coat, and look again at the video equipment to see how your swing's looking, to make sure that you understand it. And then notice too, my exercise ball up top here, and then also, so I help my students a lot with their fitness through the winter, and then I will help you also with your sports psychology, with your golf psychology from the golfpsych.com people down in Texas. That's helped my students tremendously a lot over the years too. So again, I sure enjoyed meeting you down at the Cincinnati Golf Show this weekend. I look forward to seeing you again out here this summer at Meadowlinks, or even right now in the winter. I have a lot of people that work on their games with me right through the winter. Check out more information about the things I do to help you at joelsud.com. Take care.